couldn't even see the floor I'd be sad and blue If not for you If not for you Babe, the night would see me wide awake For You by Bob Dylan, although also made famous by George Harrison and Olivia Newton-John. I like all of them. I really do. Lovely song. I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video uh, description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'm going to do a tutorial covering everything I played. And at the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But first, hey, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want hundreds more free downloadable, loadable, blah, free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free tutorial and play along, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right. Uh, I think... I'm going to go over, uh, well, I'm going to go over the strum first because it's nearly the entire song. That is to say, the, the intro and the verses uh, have one strum, then the chorus is a little bit different, but it's pretty straightforward. So I called it an even strum, that is to say, it's not bouncy, it's not, if not for you, it's not that way, it's even, it's more like a tick-tock, tick-tock of a second hand, right? said the accent is on the chord changes. Now, when there are chord changes, that's true. In other words, every chord change, every single one is a downstroke. Every single one is sort of the, the accented, the emphasized stroke. So, so you got a down on that G, and then you let up a little, and then, okay, it's not actually a chord change, but at the end of that line, it's G, D, C. That's the way I wrote it down. It's G, D, C. So if you think of that, if you think of 
that second G on that line as if it were a chord change. So that's kind of the way it's emphasized. It goes in, you know, it's you're playing a G all along, and then all of a sudden it's G, D, C. So that's where you emphasize. All right. Um, so you can pause wherever you like, but in that on that line, I would say the, the emphasis is on those three downs. over the chord transitions then we'll go to the chorus so pretty straightforward song G you're starting with and then from the G to the D you can think of the ring finger if you want as your anchor point it's gonna just slide down one fret but it's gonna stay stuck to the ukulele it's going to remain on that string it's gonna slide down one and you drop the others in place right and then the C is kind of cat corner from that uh, the ring finger. The ring finger, again, is sort of the, the stability point because you've got the G, it slides down, it just kind of slides up and rolls back. There's your C, and again, then, all I have to do, I don't really have to pick it up. I just roll it up, and it's back in place. And then, after the third one, an A minor, and just hang out there, and then G again. All right, now, for the chorus, generally speaking, from there, I, I'll either, it's it's from C to G to D, you know, whatever, but um, the the C comes, you know, uh, well, I guess at the start of the chorus, you're already, you're already hanging out there. Never mind. Ring finger is good for the C. And then from there in the chorus again, if not for you, my sky would fall. I'm going to roll that back and uh, then slide it, and it's the same kind of way. You Again, ring finger is the stability. I'm sliding it down for the D, sliding it back up for the G, rolling it for the C, and then after nowhere at all, the ring finger, or excuse me, the index finger sort of becomes the stability because it's gonna stay stuck to the ukulele, slide up just one fret. I'd be lost if not for you. And then, yes, I have to pick them all up and drop a D. And then I pick up two of my fingers and I've got my A minor. And now I drop my index finger and add one and I've got my B minor. And then pick it up. So see how the, the index finger then becomes, you know, at the end of that, the index finger becomes the, uh, the stability point because I've got uh, from a D to an A minor to a B minor and back to the D. It's, uh, it's all the index finger that's that's staying stuck there. And by the way, that last D, the last D of the chorus, there's a stop. If not for, right? It's more dramatic if you actually stop it. I stop it with my right hand. So we've got. Like that, stop it with the right hand and it gives it more drama. And for the chorus, by the way, I don't do it. It's not the down, 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 you know, it's not the same pattern. Uh, the chorus is just down, one pause, and then light strums. Pause. And that's pretty much it. I think I'm not gonna talk your ears off anymore. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip the second verse so that it'll go straight from the intro, first verse, then straight into the chorus and uh, that'll be uh, every part of the song. So, uh, here we go. In slow motion, close up on my chord changing hand. Here goes. Slow motion. Five, six, seven, intro, and. If not for 
sad and blue If not for you Here comes the chorus now If not for you my sky would fall Rain would gather too That's it. See you Wednesday. Bye.